and welcome to another reaction review video with me, Nina Schofield, singer-songwriter, vocal coach and session musician. So what we're going to do today is have a look at Billie Eilish's performance of her new James Bond theme, No Time To Die, live from the Brit Awards 2020. Uh, I kind of waited to react to this song because I wanted to see it in a live situation. So I think it's going to bring a little bit of a different element to the performance and I think Billie really shines when she's uh, doing live performances. So I'm really interested to see what kind of staging there is, vocally what's going on, uh, if there's anything that's kind of out of the ordinary. I'm not really thinking there is going to be, I think it's just going to be a solid polished performance of this song, which I've vaguely listened to, but again I tried to save it for this video. Um, I've heard it in clips basically. So this is going to be my first time listening to the whole thing all the way through as well as seeing Billy do it live. Okay so before we watch that just to let you know that you can send me your vocals and your questions to my Wizio page wizio.com forward slash Nina Schofield. I'll leave the link in the description box down below. Uh, yeah send me your vocals guys I would love to hear you sing and send me your questions. Okay let's have a watch. Here we go. I see a single spotlight already, which I assume is on Billy. Oh, and they've made the, the tone of everything slightly sepia, I guess? A bit more monochrome than I was expecting, but not fully. There's like a rumbling with the beginning of this song. Instantly, the piano and all the little piano elements the dun 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 dun, are very far back in, in the mix, even in this live version. Nice breathy lower vocal tone. This is super atmospheric, isn't it? Look at it. Something else to, to notice in Billie's uh, vocal delivery is that she has this very quick vibrato, especially in her quieter tones. The one thing that I did, uh, one bit that I did listen to of the song in the recorded version is where she does the big belted note and you can hear a bit of a different kind of vibrato. So she adapts her vibrato, whether knowingly or unknowingly, um, compared to what kind of dynamic she's using. You were my life, but life is far away. Strings coming in and that harmony. Kind of makes it major there, very bond. And there with that guitar following the melody, very bond. that drama comes in when we have the rumbling of the timpanis and having that full orchestra is just exactly the right thing to do. If there was one thing I was hoping from this performance it was that we would have an orchestra because what is a Bond song without an orchestra involved? It, ha it has to have that, that's just part of the connection to, to the Bond franchise. Uh, so I think the way that this song so far is is built musically and, and arranged is perfect for Bond because it has that quieter, moodier beginning and then it really starts to build as it goes on and I think that Billy's vocal tone uh, suits this, sits on this kind of thing really nicely. I haven't grabbed onto the melody thinking that's the best Billy melody that I've ever heard but I think what she's done with this and her brother of course as well is 
uh, made um, something very suitable for Bond and I think that that's almost as important you know if you write a great melody that's fantastic but is it something that suits the Bond franchise that's what they managed to do with this so far anyway <laughs> I love her outfit as well, the way it sparkles. Yes. Muted drums coming in as well. Nice harmony. Oh! Oh, interesting. Yeah, very interesting to have that note bend go up into the, the chorus element without a break. Who needs a break? Just bridge it. And also, there are a couple of piano elements in that bit, the, the, the raised piano melody uh, alongside. All these little elements that are things that I associate with Billy where she hides little things within the music that you don't necessarily pick up on on first listen but she's put, put them into this Bond song as well So we're building here. I know what that means. That means that big note's coming. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Okay, let's just talk about that for a sec because she used a mic technique there as well with those bigger notes. You know, we're used to seeing Billy sing with a softer tone and she has great mic technique with that because you have to have your mic placed in a certain position to pick up all the nuances. So she was very right there to pull the mic away and uh, to get that bigger note out. You know, if it's a good quality mic, it's still gonna pick up the sound well. So uh, yeah, great mic technique. And also we get to hear that belted note from, from Billy. And a couple of other things as well, that shooting that up um, from the lower vocal into the higher vocal just a, a kind of a really good display of the parts of her voice but within 10 seconds essentially let's just rewind slightly that's the bit back down The, the drama and the change of harmony, very nice. Very Bond, very Bond. I'm really pleased actually that that song fits the Bond franchise. I'm not the biggest Bond fan by any means, but I do appreciate matching a good uh, song that fits within a genre to a movie. Um, I think it's just so obvious when things don't fit and I think that they've done a great job in, in making the music fit to the soundtrack of Bond and there you know there are some really nice elements in there that are very Bond so we're talking the, the slight changes from minor to major or um, the sevenths or just little things that you you can add in that give you that ooh, ooh, that that gives me that drama that I know that comes from a Bond film so not necessarily my favorite Billie Eilish song but has fulfilled in my personal opinion the quota for Bond and also let's just comment on her vocal as well which I thought was really very 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 good this is where I you know I really enjoy watching Billy is live because I think that she just has a charisma and she doesn't need masses of production around her to 
to get that that connection, you know, even just watching through the screen, I get that connection. She has that thing, that it factor that uh, I think has drawn so many people into her fandom so quickly over the last few years. So always a pleasure to watch Billy sing. What do you guys think of that? Do you agree with my opinions on it being a suitable kind of feeling regarding the Bond thing? Do you agree with me that it's not necessarily the best Billie Eilish song, but that Billy performs it really well. Let me know in the comments box down below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications. And you can find me on my Wizio page, wizio.com forward slash Nina Schofield. And I will very much look forward to seeing you all again soon. Okay, love you, bye.